we're here today at MMU and the Whitworth Art Gallery to introduce the Designer in Residence project based on digital art. I feel like this is a great opportunity for our students to engage with artwork, to find out about an artistic career and also to engage with digital art. So it's really important that as an art department we're integrating digital art into our department. So um, this morning we're starting having a little presentation about the cultural a digital designer in residence which is very much about creating a digital portrait. We're going to explore different uh, techniques such as typography portraits, collage and um, line vector drawings. Uh, my favorite thing was uh, digital design because it was really creative and uh, uh, the fact that you could do it on the computer has made it very neat and you didn't have to draw it, it made it quite easier. For an exhibition we're going to have in a few weeks, so basically I'm doing the work, I'm going to present them. And it's basically photo edition, so well, I'm talking about uh, how uh, our image in the social media is formed, so basically I'm deforming pictures of people and that's what I'm doing. Now I'm doing it with myself as a test and I will see how this evolves. My favourite one was uh, Prince Greening. It looked hard, but when you get used to it, it looked alright. The work was really great, it was a good experience. And then we had um, the possibility to look at the different studios, so we started off with the fashion textile studios um, uh, undergraduate and then we moved to graphic design and illustration uh, and then we had the possibility to see the MA students uh, working uh, in the studio space. It's not quite what I thought it was because when I came to the university I thought it's going to be normal drawings and it's a lot more creative than that. It's a lot more things than drawings. It's complicated. I thought it was going to be normal printing and then it had old printers just so the students could see how it's used and see how it was used in the old times. And it was like letters and you had to put ink on them and place them down on the paper and this uh, created the writing. And it looks very similar to our printer nowadays. I found um, typology, typography particularly interesting because it's uh, creative and I like the design, how they use colours to um, create effects. Really I like computers and I really think that this might, could, could be possibly my best thing to do. I, I agree with that because I like working with computers, it's easy and simple and you can get the work done quickly. The aim of the project is to put a student designer with a class in a school and just show them lots of different things. One of the main things is the opportunities that there are for future careers in digital design, creative media, all sorts of different things within art and design. So right now they're just having a look at different things and taking three different inspirations to take forward. Because we've found that there's been a reduction of um, men, young men, coming to the gallery, so that's amazing. And none of them have been to the gallery before, so to see the gallery from their eyes, their perspective, I think we can really learn from one another. I drew the statue because it was like the only statue that was there. So the day at the Whitworth, we've been engaging with different artworks, we've been engaging with portraits, and the pupils have actually never been to an art gallery before, so therefore they've really engaged in the different types of art, the different portraits they can see. They've been doing drawings, they've been asking really challenging questions to the artists, and really thinking about how they could use these methods of art within their own art classes. I drew the man with the no face because it looks like he didn't know what it was but you, you could still tell by what he was wearing and how he looked. If I had the chance I would go to an art gallery again. So today the pupils are working on um, creating self-portrait, collage self-portrait. So in the end we're basically showing our personality through images. Um, today we're doing about illustration and um, where we use our grey scale self-portraits, what we did with typography and 
we make our own illustration by we got these booklets that help us to um, do illustration and that we use a we use a software called Adobe Illustrator which helps us to do illustration. On the next session which is the last one we're gonna be uh, exploring uh, the creation of um, uh, interactive GIFs so moving images to again portray themselves which is gonna be the last stage before the exhibition at the Whitworth. Um, it's this application called InDesign where we use our line portraits that we made on Adobe Illustrator and we get our images that represent us and we make it into a collage. Hopefully some of them have been inspired by not only the workshop but also out of the presentation and they've seen um, a different perspective and a different possibilities uh, in terms of career-wise. Everything is going to lead to an exhibition at the Whitworth Gallery uh, where they're going to have the possibility to show their work in progress and um, all the um, digital uh, aspect of our project. I think they're actually pretty good how they ended up as what all of them have outlines everything to do with them and the colour ones actually turned out pretty well. I really like the bottom left one where how the colour is bonded with all the other ones and how those collaged ones how they've got the designs on them. I was really impressed because I've never used typography before. Look, this one's mine. I've used uh, different techniques like copying and pasting and uh, we use different layers for it. Before at the start I found it really hard but, I, as, as, but now I got used to it so it's really easy now. I think it went very well uh, and the students were very engaged and re they really loved the process of making digitally and today they seem very pleased with their outcome. Uh, as soon as they get, get inside of the room, they were like looking for their portraits to see uh, how the final piece would look like, so they seem very happy. Today is all about a celebration of the people's hard work for the digital projects. As you can see behind me, all their work, um, it's fantastic, they've been really engaged and it's a privilege to be presenting their work at the Whitworth Art Gallery. I'm blown away by their artwork, the digital artwork. I think uh, the opportunity provided by the Ideas Foundation, Commonwealth Earth Foundation, Whitworth Art Gallery and MMU is something that we, we cannot offer in schools. At the end of the day, education is about lighting fires, not filling buckets. Um, and the opportunity my pupils have been given is something that I'm, I'm very, very grateful for. The fact that it's year nine boys that have been involved in this, in this project is also really, really important because um, I'm very, very aware of uh, gender bias within certain professions and I think that by doing this project I think a number of the young men are, are seriously going to consider uh, a, a career in either art, digital design or some other form of, of art and, it, and it's not just driven by s uh, salary, I think it's driven by their opportunity to be individuals and be creative.